on Tuesday night, September 20th, Pope Francis led a ceremony in Assisi, Italy's main square where he prayed with about 450 representatives of world religions. It was the fifth time a pope had done so, beginning with, with John Paul II in 1986, marking a change both in how Catholicism engages the world and in the role of the papacy as the leader of all world religions. The meeting in Assisi is the latest step in the papal geopolitical agenda. The Pope and religious leaders from around the world were marking the 30th anniversary of the first interreligious meeting and prayer for peace organized by John Paul II in 1986, who brought papal geopolitics to a new level. He wanted the Vatican to replace the Soviet leadership of the peace movement. The Soviet Communist Party set up the World Peace Council in the years of 1948-50 to 50 to promote Soviet foreign policy and, and to campaign against nuclear weapons at a time when only the USA had them. It was a very successful move, and it spread all over the world. In 1986, Pope John Paul seeking to elevate the papacy's power in global politics, initiated the Assisi peace movement. His catchphrase, the spirit of Assisi, became the new Vatican mantra. The spirit of Assisi is nothing less than the declaration that all religions are the same, that they only differ in their cultural expression of their religion. All religions are the expression of humanistic ideals. This is the spirit of the Antichrist. This year's meeting at Assisi concluded with all the representatives gathering at the main square of Assisi for a concluding ceremony that included prayer and the lighting uh, of uh, a symbolic uh, candelabra. Of course, it was the Pope who was the first one who lit uh, one of the candles on this candelabra. And then after the lighting of the candelabra, uh, the Pope went and signed uh, the declaration of, of, of peace that this meeting at Assisi had come up with. Following close behind him, was the rabbi representative, one of the rabbis, and after the rabbi, Patriarch Bartholomew. There were many candles on this candelabra, and it is a symbol of their unity, that there are many lights that compose the one light. Their belief that all religions shed some light on the total light, and everyone was uh, just one candle on this candelabra. Heretics, Muslims, as we see here, the Muslims in the back, a Muslim is, is writing, uh, uh, signing a declaration. Buddhists, who also took part in this ceremony and uh, contributed their light to the totality of the light which is shed by this candelabra made up of united uh, lights. Every religion possible was representative. Significant in his, in his absence was the Dalai Lama. And this is due to the fact that the Pope did not want to offend the Chinese government. Uh, so he didn't invite the Dalai Lama. Pagans, Buddhists, Hindus, as we see here, Hindus from India are lighting also their light, which is very, very significant. Back in the 60s, Archbishop Yakovus of North and South America returned from the World Council of Meeting in India and declared to everyone that he saw 
the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit of God in the faces of the Hindus uh, of India. What we see uh, taking place where the Orthodox have totally capitulated to, uh, to the beliefs of this syncretistic humanistic movement which ultimately denies the very existence of God and sees all religions as a mere humanistic expression human beings expressing uh, their beliefs not necessarily true that God exists but that religion is a, a mere cultural uh, expression and this is why uh, these meetings uh, can be characterized as meetings of, uh, of representatives of the Antichrist because they all have come together to declare uh, their belief that there is no truth which is the same as saying there is no God for them truth is relevant truth is dependent on culture religion is a mere cultural expression and therefore uh, human beings should represent should should uh, accept all cultural expressions uh, concerning religion and not believe that one religion has an exclusive claim to the truth the final uh, end to this as we see now rabbis and everyone joining the uh, signing and believing that there is not one truth the final outcome of such meetings and such beliefs is to declare uh, really that there is no such thing as truth it is just something that has been made up by human beings and is a mere cultural uh, expression just like music is a cultural expression uh, art is a cultural expression cooking is a cultural expression uh, in the same way uh, religion is a cultural expression and as such all people should respect and uh, in a sense accept these cultural expressions and, and this is very very significant uh, that the the candelabra which is seen as giving off one light and this one light is composed uh, of many many different lights that come together uh, and light and lighten the world so that the world will be able to find peace again uh, th this is uh, not the teaching of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ who has told us that I am the door uh, here we see uh, the words of our Savior totally ne negated because our Savior has become irrelevant he is just one more uh, voice uh, cultural voice in, 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 the, in the expression of, of, of human beings so religion is a human creation ultimately there is no God and this is uh, the teaching of the Pope this is the teaching of Bartholomew Bar Patriarch Bartholomew this is the teaching of all these people uh, who take part uh, in these uh, meetings uh, they are proud of what they do uh, and anyone who uh, disagrees with them is is labeled uh, a person who is narrow-minded a person who uh, uh, is is a fanatic uh, and they are very very successful uh, in their political uh, maneuvers uh, to get uh, this uh, point of view spread throughout the world and of course the Pope is the leader and under the modern Roman Catholic Vatican uh, geopolitical system uh, it is more important that the Pope is seen as the leader in the world as the one uh, uh, whom all uh, all nations go to uh, 
all roads lead to Rome. And, and we can see this uh, in their actions uh, and, and the, their ability uh, to convince so many people to be active participants uh, in their uh, attempt to, uh, to sort of usurp this world power. And, Partho and Patriarch Bartholomew is, is a willing uh, partaker of this because uh, for him, it is better to be second, second to the Pope, than to be last because uh, as, a, as, as a mere bishop in the city of Istanbul, where he is totally insignificant, uh, this is an opportunity for him to be on the world stage uh, and, uh, and to partake uh, in world events, and of course, uh, benefit from the funding that comes from these world powers, uh, the White House in the United States, the Vatican, and, and other organizations that uh, are the ones who are pushing this agenda of, uh, of that religion is a mere creation uh, of various cultures and therefore uh, once uh, we see that uh, and accept the fact that every relig religion uh, is a legitimate uh, creation of various cultures then uh, the next step is to accept the fact well since it is mere, a mere cultural uh, creation since it is not uh, the truth the absolute truth uh, then it need not necessarily uh, be uh, followed because if it is uh, a cultural expression just like mythologies are cultural expressions uh, and do not represent reality but just a mere expression of human uh, desires then uh, there is a legitimate reason for people to say uh, there is no God uh, God is just uh, a, crea a concept created by human beings uh, to to be able to uh, uh, to survive. It, it is their way of finding some meaning in, in this world. And and of course, the atheists do use these articles and these arguments uh, and these peace movements of which the Pope directs and uh, all these other representatives uh, subscribe to they are ultimately supporting uh, atheism uh, in its claim that there is no such thing as one God. Uh, God is just something people have made up, uh, and they have made up different uh, concepts of what God is, uh, and we should respect it because it is a human creation, uh, and we, we cannot uh, be we cannot uh, be people who. Uh, contradict or naysay or find any fault with any religion because it is a legitimate uh, creation uh, of, of, of human uh, of human beings of human cultures and therefore uh, we have to be able to accept it <laughs>